Everyday Lives of the Richest Families in the World There is the best of the best, and then there are the best of the best among the best. The world's wealthiest families have built up their wealth over decades or even centuries, and few people will ever really know how much they have. The world's wealthiest families have more resources than almost all of the people who live on Earth. Their businesses are probably a part of your life, even though you may be unaware of it. They own some of the most well-known retail brands and banks, as well as hotels, supermarkets, and other businesses. Hello guys, and welcome to our channel, Luxury Mojo. In today's video, we'll look at the lives and fortunes of some of the world's richest families. So, make sure you watch the video till the very end. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates about the fresh and interesting content we keep on posting. Let's kick off this list with the Walton family of the US. The Waltons, the world's richest family, had retail giant Walmart in the US. The Waltons' fortune grew $23 billion last year. This year, Walton family members sold $6 billion in stock. Sam Walton set up his family for financial success by dividing the company before he died. He wasn't a flashy luxury man, but his children are now. Sam Walton opened Arkansas's first Walmart in 1962. On Valentine's Day, 1942, he married Helen Robson. They had four children, Rob, John, Jim, and Alice. Robertson, Rob Walton, is the oldest. Rob lives near Camelback Mountain in Paradise Valley, Arizona. Rob collects classic cars. He wrecked his $15 million Daytona Coupe in 2013. Only five cars were made. Second oldest, John, died in a plane crash in 2005. Christy Walton and Lucas were his children. John left his wife 17% of his wealth and the rest to Charity and his son. Christy sold her Jackson Hole mansion in 2013. She also listed the family's ranch, which has its own elk herd for $68.7 million. Youngest son, Jim Walton. He is chairman of the family's $18 billion Arvest Bank and is worth $45.3 billion. Alice Walton has $40.4 billion. She has been divorced twice and has no children. Alice never ran the family business. She fell in love with the arts as a child and became a patron. When she was 10, she bought a $2 Picasso reproduction of Blue Nude. She owns Andy Warhol and Georgia O'Keeffe Originals. Her Millsap, Texas property, Rocking W Ranch, sold in September 2017 for an undisclosed amount. Alice also owns a two-story condo on Park Avenue in New York, which she purchased for $25 million in 2014. It has more than 52 large windows overlooking Central Park, as well as a media room with bookshelves and a television, a view-oriented bedroom, and a view-oriented stairwell and a total area of over 6,000 square feet. Our next one on the list is the Mars family of the US. The Mars family is at the top of an empire full of tasty things. They are the heirs to the candy company Mars Incorporated, which makes Snickers, Mars bars, Milky Way bars, Twix, M&Ms, and more, as well as pet care products, drinks, gum, and more. They had a Duesenberg town car that cost $20,000 and two vacation homes in Tennessee and Wisconsin. They also let the public use their vacation home in Tennessee, the Milky Way Farms Racing Stables, for fundraisers and other public events. In 1940, Ethel's horse won the Kentucky Derby, which gave her a, quote, place in mint julep society. They made the first chocolate nougat, which helped Milky Way bars and Snickers get started. Forrest Sr. and his father had a fight, and in 1932, his father gave him the recipe for the Milky Way bar so he could start his own business. While the company has previously been chastised for not contributing enough, Mars Incorporated claims to make anonymous donations. They made a contribution of $5 million to the Smithsonian National Museum of American History in 2012 for the purpose of funding renovations and the construction of a new gallery. Moving on to the next one, we will talk about the Dumas family of France. This is the family that gave birth to the wealthy and well-known Hermès. 
Jean-Louis Dumas started a company called Hermès, which turned the fashion and luxury worlds upside down. The family-owned business has always been at the top of the fashion industry, and it looks like that will continue for a long time. Even though the family business went public, most of its shares are still owned by family members. But the family name, which used to be Hermès, but is now Dumas, has changed slowly, but in a big way. When you meet the Dumas, you'll see that, even though they've changed, the men have shown that they are important to the family business. Since then, the company has grown, and it's clear that it's only going to get better. There are 16 heirs to the Hermès fortune, but Pierre Alexis and Axel Dumas, who are cousins, run the ultra-luxurious Parisian fashion house that makes billions of dollars in profit every year. Hermès and Eurocopter also work together to make a nearly $8 million helicopter. Pierre Alexis Dumas said in 2011 that the brand had already sold two and had six people on the waiting list. Their house is 18,000 square feet. This traditional luxury mansion is fit for a king. This luxury home has a lot of bedrooms and common areas, as well as an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a beautiful ballroom, and a stable that can fit up to 30 horses. Outside, there are 15,000 plants and 20 greenhouses with tropical flowers from all over the world. It has many balconies with palm trees all around them. Fourth one in the list is, any guesses? The Wertheimer family of France. Pierre Wertheimer started Coco Chanel in 1924 so that he could get a perfume contract in Paris. After his father died in 1963, his son took over the business. The Wertheimer brothers are some of the richest people in the world. Together, they have a net worth of more than $40 billion. Most of the time, the brothers don't talk to the press or give interviews about their money, business, family, relationships, or hobbies. People call them fashion's quietest billionaires because they live lavish lives in private and hang out with other quiet people. People have also said that the Wertheimer family likes to hunt at their chateau in the Loire Valley of France. They own one vineyard in Napa Valley and three in France. The brothers also finished fixing up Chateau Canon in 2015. It has six bedrooms and is invite only. They own an old French-style mansion in a quiet part of Geneva called Vendevore. It is full of antiques. The Wertheimers also have a lot of important art in their homes, which they have collected over the years. Picasso, Matisse, and Rousseau all made pieces that cost a lot of money. And the last one on the list is the Ambani family of India. Forbes' list of Asia's richest families is topped by the Ambani family of India which has a net worth of at least $42.7 billion. Dhirubhai Ambani started the Indian family's huge wealth when he started the company Reliance Industries to make fabric and textiles. The home of the Ambani family is thought to cost between 1 and 2 billion USD. The phrase living large took on a whole new meaning when the 27-story Antilia house came along. It was as grand as the man himself, the building was made to withstand an earthquake with a Richter scale value of 8.0. Even though it only has 27 floors, its height is estimated to be that of a 60-story building because its ceilings are so high. Each floor is said to be as tall as a two-story building. It is said to be the tallest house in the world that is owned by a single family. It is 173 meters tall or about 568 feet. On the seventh floor, Ambani has his own service station for his cars. From news stories, which you probably can't tell from the pictures, we know that the house had a beautiful and well-known temple, an ice cream shop, a salon, a dance studio, a health spa, a ballroom, a yoga studio, and several guest suites. The mansion also has three swimming pools the size of Olympic pools. The Ambanis have closed off the top six floors of their mansion as their private living space. People say that his garage is full of high-end luxury cars, like the Rolls-Royce Cullinan SUV, the Bentley Bentayga SUV, and the Phantom 8 sedan. But he also owns cars made by companies that don't exist in India. These cars are imported by the business tycoon at a huge cost. So that's all for today's video. 
share your thoughts in the comment section. If you liked the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.